Taurus, Leader, and Sagittarian. This is the first week of June. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, let's see what is going to be coming up for you guys. Um, I hope you guys had a good month of May. Go check out the May readings to recognize what has happened to you in the month of May. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what's coming up. So um, some sort of information is going to be coming to you that you never expected. And uh, your worries is going to be over. Um, and it has to do with a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion man. Uh, if you were worried about this man, you're going to be recognizing there's no need to worry about this man. Some sort of a date or information is going to be coming out. Uh, and they are going to be recognizing justice is going to be coming up and a lot of you are going to be released out of some sort of a situation um, they're coming up against a Pisces cancer a scorpion man who has done something they're now recognizing I see a lot of you are going to be finding out the truth of what was going on and uh, a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person I see her worries is going to be over and uh, I see um, hardships uh, uh, is going to be coming up for a, a Virgo and a, a Taurus woman Virgo and a Taurus woman um, I see um, a end is not going to be here for you guys I see the conflicts is going to be over between you and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and I see some sort of a contract um, that was there for you guys is going to be ending. I see no success with a situation um, for a lot of you. And uh, I see no success with a corporation institution. Um, this corporation is going to end some sort of a conflict that was going on um, um, for you. Um, uh, if you were married there was some sort of a complex it's going to come to an end I see no success with friends whatever is transpiring okay and I see um, you don't regret this I think you're okay that something didn't go through and it has to do with some sort of a business some sort of a house for some of you I see no love is shown to you um, by your friends whatever is transpiring and I see a uh, family as basically turn their backs on you and it's okay and uh, um, you recognize that uh, whatever happened it was in the best interest okay so the center and uh, um, the um, cross is that uh, an end is coming up for you and a Taurus Virgo, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn person, um, and uh, um, our ship is going to be here for a lot of you married people because they have recognized uh, um, what you have done, and there's no success, uh, and a whole lot of burdens is going to be coming up for a lot of you. But whatever conflicts you were having and you were going through with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn person, it is now going to be over. Uh, Worries is going to be over some sort of a details and information about a, um, a woman and her business together with a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person. I see it, some sort of a communication came out and they recognize something. I see the hardship. I see some of you are really going to be going through some sort of a hardship. Whatever has happened and transpired, some sort of a hardship is going to be coming up for a lot of you. A corporation is now recognizing what a friend, a group of people have done to a family and uh, how they this family has been carrying a lot of burdens there is not going to be any success for a lot of you fire sign and it's because truths are coming out and people are recognizing that you fire sign have created some sort of an issue when it comes up to the weekend there is no net uh, there's no connection between you and a family anymore you're going to be recognizing that uh, um, friends you're looking for help from friends but friends um, have kind of shown you for whatever the reason is and it is because uh, um, some of you they're recognizing that you were not really 
honest about a situation and this is the reason why they're um, shunning you some sort of information came out and I see some problems hardship is going to be coming up but a situation that was going on with a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person there is not going to be a success so it is as if everything is just in reverse everything is just basically in reverse where I see no success you have no regrets and it's as if uh, it is what it is so um, um, uh, uh, the law is going to be coming down on a Pisces cancer scorpion man they recognize what this man have done this man could have created a whole lot of burdens for you Pisces uh, for you Aries they are Sagittarian people and I see a lot of you Aries they are five sign persons or having a whole lot of burdens to carry and you have no regrets it's as if it was a relationship that went bad a relationship that went sour you have no regrets so a whole lot of you fire sign people are going to be having some sort of a problem uh, in the weekend with friends I see friends are not uh, uh, connecting with you friends are not showing up for you um, problems with the family for you fire sign people where um, people are um, shunning it's as if people are really shunning you fire sign people in this week some sort of a communication is going to be coming out and there is going to be a um, clarity and a situation has not ended yet but there is no success with friends because friends uh, there is they're not showing any love and compassion to some of you fire sign where is that you are having dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and the conflicts between you and this person with a corporation institution um, you're going to be regretting you and your family is going to be regretting what you have done to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn woman I see a whole lot of regrets so then we see the Pisces cancer scorpion man at the workplace is having a whole lot of problems with some sort of a contract and a whole lot of burdens this person is carrying with a house and this person is going to be resol resolving the situation and this problem because this person is going to be recognizing that um, they're having some sort of a problem with issue with their business it's a Pisces cancer scorpion person and they're going to be recognizing how they seems to be getting in these sort of a problem and what was transpired and how are you fire sign people could have been part of their issue that they were dealing with so this is a Pisces cancer scorpion man maybe this is your father or this is your husband so in the first week some sort of a communication came out about this person that makes you no longer want to worry and justice came down and some sort of a hardship for some of you fire sign people because justice came down some sort of a legal issue where justice came down and I see a whole lot of hardship for um, you um, air sign people and um, whatever is going on a Taurus woman and a Virgo woman justice came down on these two people some sort of information is going to be coming out about a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person and their partner and their family member and uh, it's going to be some sort of a legal issue and some sort of a situation about their business and they're going to be recognizing that some of you were connected to this person and have created some sort of a situation for this person I see some sort of a legalities and they're going to be recognizing um, what some of you have done to a Pisces cancer scorpion person and how this person end up in some sort of a situation some sort of a burdensome situation and truth is going to be revealed about a, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman and I see a Taurus woman they're going to be recognizing what a Taurus woman have done then we see some sort of an end for you and a Capricorn woman is not yet there um, I don't know if you're thinking about ending um, the connection or the business arrangement with a Capricorn woman but I see it's as if this thing is either on pause or no end and um, no con conflicts and I see that um, a contract was not signed so maybe you're the one that has not signed a contract however way this is I see that a contract or the movement with some sort of a business with you and a Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person is at still stand okay then we're recognizing that there's no success I see a lot of you fireside 
people are going through some sort of a hardship and there is no success um, but you don't regret the sister the situation all right and they're finding out that some of you fire sign people at work um, together with um, and create some sort of a problem a corporation is recognizing that some of you fire sign people with a cancer have created a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issue um, a lot of you um, coupled of people married people are having problems with your family and especially business people business people um, are having some sort of a problems and you don't regret that a situation is now over but it's as if uh, you regret uh, um, doing what you have done okay and then we see no love is been offered whatever is happening and transpire a lot of you fireside people are carrying a lot of burdens and it's as if there is no love that has been offered to you from friends or family it is as if you're in the middle of a a zoom and you know it's as if you are the one who are kind of figuring out things as you go along and um, it's as if you feel as if you're alone and that people are not really um, there for you so it is a situation where it could be that you guys are just isolating yourself and feeling sorry for yourself this could be a situation that is happening a lot of cards in this week is very in the reverse so go check out your monthly readings they're going to be coming out soon uh, yeah so when we look up uh, um, we see that um, communication is coming out and you're not going to be showing any love to anyone some sort of a where is that a family is going through is now going to be over a Pisces cancer scorpion person is going to be revealing something that people were not aware of some sort of a information is um, it's as if no communication from friends is as if uh, there is a still and no communication from friends so, um, I see the energy of uh, the um, the law and it is as if some of you um, the, the the regrets that you had is now over um, a situation at work is as if some of you have no work or some some of you your business is at a still stand where you're wondering whether or not you should go forward with some sort of an offer that some of you had received. A lot of you are going to be finding out who a cancer is and what a cancer have done. A Taurus Virgo or Capricorn woman is going to be standing up and I see that this woman is going to be taking back her business. This woman is going to be standing up and ending all the quarrels, all the conflicts and is going to be taking back her business. I see hardships for a lot of you. It's, it's um, fire sign people especially fire sign people who was married a lot of hardship is going to be there for you and your partner so um, a lot of you is as if you receive some sort of an offer and you don't know if you're for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and you don't know whether or not you should receive take this offer however the way it is coming up is as if um, a lot of you are questioning going into business with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or a lot of you um, you know it's having some sort of a question and the thing about it is that uh, um, not everybody is um, um, have some sort of agenda agenda this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is very upright they're very upright they they have nothing to hide they're they're like a very very upright in business they're very upright they really really consider things before they uh, make any decision so you know it's, it's as if a lot of you are really questioning a situation and I see if whatever you question about a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person this person is a really upright person there's no question about this this person is a very communicative this person is direct this person um, tell it as it is sometimes it comes over harsh but this person is like I don't need anyone to have any question or reservation so a conflict is over and especially married people that was having some sort of a relationship problem um, you 
are not really true the um, through the coldness of this water not yet but you're getting to it uh, whoever that was worried about some sort of a date or information about the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person that you were having with some sort of a conflict in a corporation institution I see you have more um, that um, you know this person I shouldn't have done what I've done to this person it is a uh, like yes you know it is what it is I shouldn't have done it but yes I did it and I can't take it back um, and this is how you're looking at it but I think that this person is like you know why why did you do it you know I have been trying to help out why did you do this uh, um, situation so I see that is going to come up for a lot of you a corporation institution is going to be recognizing what a group of people have done to a family how a group of people had collaborated against a family and created a whole lot of problems for a family I see that I see some of you are going to be turning your back on a cancer and it's going to be happy that you finally get out of some sort of a relationship or situation with a cancer because you recognize that this cancer was not really above water okay so I see a lot of you are chasing chasing behind some sort of a data and information It's as if some of you want some sort of a data or information and it's behind this and I see um, I, I see a, a lot of you who are in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or scorpion or is this person your boss or supervisor I see that this person is going to be saying to you hey I'm not getting um, um, the um, what I want this man is frustrated in a relationship so if you're in a relationship with a Pisces cancer or scorpion person or is working this person is very frustrated with you and this person has a lot of ego and jealousy within them so you have to be very um, aware of who this person is okay then we have the energy of paradise and this energy of paradise has to do with uh, happiness empathy joy playfulness oneness uh, enjoying each other's company and I see um, that a lot of you and especially Leo's uh, you could be um, really recognizing that uh, a relationship or a situation or some sort of a connection that you have with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person is not over because you're recognizing that uh, um, you still have feelings for this person even though there were other people all right and the key on the ring is that a lot of you fire sign person you're seeing um, like multiple people um, but it's as if your heart chakra is on one person. So it's as if a lot of you are seeing multiple people, but yet still um, your heart holds. You have some sort of a strong feelings for an Aries, for a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn person. And you're going to be recognizing. And this person and I we are really soul family it doesn't really matter if we have not spoken to this person in years and once this person return in my life it's as if the love is even stronger and the love is the same the love doesn't change for this person Wow so I see um engagement ring contracts um, engagement ring contracts okay so some sort of an engagement that some of you have or some sort of a contract um, an engagement could be ending for some of you fire sign people and I see um, some sort of a um, commitment uh, um, and union so a lot of you fire sign people is dealing you could be getting some sort of an offer from a corporation institution and whatever this offer is or you could be getting some sort of an offer to be in partnership with someone but it's as if this is going to be more burdens for you it's as if some of you are thinking this is will, will be more burden but for you businessman I see that it's going to be ending because they're going to be recognizing that you businessman have some sort of a contract or some sort of a business association and it is not uh, um, this person did don't have an awareness of this partnership with you then we are recognizing separation sadness missing thinking 
um, morning yawning unsure of the future is going to be coming up for a lot of you young people and a lot of you young people who were connected with a cancer or a scorpion is going to be recognizing that you don't know what the future is bringing for you you have some sort of an unsurety between you and this person let's say that it was your boss that is a scorpion or a cancer that was your boss you're going to be recognizing that you are unsure of the future you are unsure of your contract a separation an end is coming in for some of you who oh, your boss was a supervisor or a cancer twin flame yin and yen um, the balance union um, complementary uh, each other and I see that this is what I was saying is as if some of you Leo's uh, have some sort of a close relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and um, whoever this person is has your heart chakra um, the love never dies it's as if you and this person and you and this person family is so connected and you guys have past life oh, and this person could have been your soulmate in a, in a past life and whenever they come back you feel as if you're at home okay so even if your family is not there and this person like calls you or you know this person you have heard from this person for a very long time this person call you it's as if oh, you know that this person is your twin flame It's as if you're not questioning it but the problem is that you're fire and this person is hurt and the problem is that you know um, that you would have had some sort of a pleasurable moment with this person but there's so many times that you separated and every time that you are going to be starting you wanted to have a family with this person and this person wasn't ready and you went to it and had a family and now you're recognizing it doesn't really matter who you're with once this person ends their your life uh, you are definitely leaving whoever you're with to be with this person so it's like an on and off relationship on and off relationship and it's because uh, you were um, you two are soulmate and twin flame okay and it's going to be coming up dating I see a lot of you air sign people are going to be dating a lot of you are going out on the weekend okay a lot of you are going to be dating on the weekend and some of you are dating someone you're going to be ending up marrying this person so a lot of you fire sign for people who are dating in the weekend you're going to be oh my god ending up marrying this person I hope you guys heard the breeding you're going to be ending up marrying this person if you meet someone on the weekend it could be an Aquarian Gemini or Libra but you're going to be ending up marrying this person I see separation for you a fire sign people and uh, with a cancer and a scorpion whatever is happening and transpiring I see some sort of a separation so if you're married to a Pisces or a cancer some sort of a separation if your boss is a cancer some sort of a separation uh, end okay so not enough is as if a Pisces cancer scorpion person is recognizing that they're in a relationship with some of you fire sign people but it is not enough it's as if they are missing out on something It's as if they want more okay they really want more they're missing out on something and they want more a lot of you fire sign person is chasing after a Libran uh, whoever you are I see you're chasing after a Libran whatever is transpiring you're like chasing after a Libran I see some of you are separated from your soulmate and you really wants to be with your soulmate okay so um, I see um, um, this is a situation where a lot of you are dealing with um, the Queen of Cups and some sort of a information that this person is going to say um, this is a Pisces person whoever the Pisces person is it's as if some of you are chasing after a Pisces woman you want a Pisces person okay a tower moment is going to be coming down for a um, Pisces cancer or scorpion man um, with some of you I see a Capricorn woman is going to be overcoming some sort of a problem that a lot of you have created for this person okay 
I see some sort of a contract. Um, it's as if some of you uh, haven't signed a contract, or some of you are, um, you know, thinking about a contract, whether or not you want to um, go forward with um, a, some sort of a business relationship. A cycle is over for a cancer, whoever this cancer is, and whatever has transpired. I see separation. They are going to be recognizing a whole lot of money. Um, a corporation is going to be recognizing how um, some of you could have took a whole lot of money that was for a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person. Six of sword. I see a marriage and a contract going to be ending. A marriage. A lot of you who are married, your marriage could be ending, and it's because they're going to be recognizing that you have been seeing multiple partners. So. I see some sort of an emotion at home, especially for married people or people who are, are coupled up. And I see um, a lot of conflicts, a lot of conflicts, and the conflicts could be with a cancer, separation and conflicts for a cancer. I see a lot of you are hoping for financial help from friends, okay? And I see there is no success with a soulmate relationship that some of you wanted then I see some sort of a communication and a lot of you men are going to be recognizing that and it's going to be finally recognizing a hey um, this person and I have been soulmate in lifetime in past lifetime it's not showing up who the person is but by some sort of a communication it could be that you're going out and you're meeting someone and in the weekend and uh, you're going to be recognizing true communication you're going to be realizing hey it is my soul is my soul flame um this person is really my soulmate whoever this person is is as if you're going to be recognizing oh my god i have been wondering about this person and it is really my soulmate the magician uh yes um, so a lot of you um, men are going to be recognizing that a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person was your soulmate in another life time <laughs> so uh, this is what I was saying to you is that a lot of you you have a soulmate and it's someone and this person is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person and they are your soulmate but it's as if in this lifetime you were not meant to be the twin flame or a soulmate to them but you know deep inside of you no I feel the way I feel about this person I know that there's my I, I see your you could be talking with family members you could be saying hey you know who call me or hey you know and this family member is going to be saying no it's your twin flame it's your twin flame but for some reason you two are just not connecting in this lifetime and it's true so it, it could be family is um, saying you could be hey you know who called me and 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 you, it could be you're talking to your mom and you're going to be saying hey you know who called me and um, you are going the family member is going to be saying yeah is your twin flame you two were just meant to be but the problem with you too is that uh, there is so much is as if people place you against each other or um, you two are just in a two different dimensional frequency and that is the reason why so I see a lot of you fire sign people are just going to be recognizing oh my god this earth sign people of, of, of this person because it's not really showing up and your family or I am um, you're going to be feeling connected to someone who you go out with and it's going to be recognizing hey I know this person but you men are going to be saying no this person is my soulmate this person is my twin flame so why are we not connecting and I see a lot of you men are going to be really taking the time to think and think we think alike we do everything alike we I know this person is my twin flame so why aren't we but together so a lot of you men are going to be on the 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 sideline that is saying no I know this person this person is my soulmate um, this person is my soulmate why aren't we not connected um, and I see a lot of you men are going to be making some sort of a changes and it's going to be thinking about really making some sort of a changes in order to resolve some sort of a situation because you recognize uh, 
um, that a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn person is your soulmate or twin flame and it's as if people had put you against each other for you not to connect with each other so you know I want to say thank you so much and in this weekend this weekend is going to be alerting a lot of you men about things about yourself and uh, the people who really means this the a lot to you I gotta go please like and share these videos share 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 like share um, thumbs up and subscribe namaste